What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. Come back. We're going to talk about the new camera I'm actually shooting this part of the video on. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope you're doing great. Um, thank you. Remember, if you watch the tripod video, which I'm shooting from right now, I made mention that there was something new coming as far as a camera goes. Well, it's here. Uh, I was able to strike a deal and I was able to get this. And I'm pretty pleased with what I got. Now, you saw the opening was shot with this camera. Um, and microphone setup that I've got and I'll show you all of it put together here in a minute um, basically I had a friend of mine who girlfriend had a camera that they were getting rid of this is it um, I got a pretty darn good deal on it I can tell you right now about three to almost four hundred dollars less than retail for new so I was really impressed with that also got when she purchased the camera she got um, the Canon Care program on it it has another year and a half oh two years total left on it excuse me so anything happens to it I can send it back to Canon um, good chances are it'll be fixed on their behalf um, there may be a little something I might have to pay up front but it would be buying a new camera so what did I get? Let's take a look at it. I'll spin it around up here for you. This is the Canon SL3. All right, a little real quick on the specs of this thing. 24.1 megapixels. That's according to Canon. Uh, it uses the APS-C CMOS sensor. Now, probably me, you, and a few others don't know what the heck that really means. Just know it's one of their newer sensors. It does have nine point autofocus with face and eye detection. So when I'm filming with this thing, it finds my face, it locks on. It also locks onto my eye. So it's can it's following my eye movement, everything the whole time. Um, when I'm filming objects, I can poke on the object on the screen, and it is touch screen, we'll get into that in a minute, and it'll stay on that particular object the whole time, which is really, really cool. Um, this has interchangeable lenses. Uh, it uses the same lens as my 1200D used, which is, thank God, because I've got a bunch of those I can use with this thing. Uh, right now I have the 24 millimeter lens strapped to this camera with autofocus and manual focus. Um, the other cool factor on this camera, it will shoot 4K and do 4K time lapse. Now, uh, and that's at 23.98 frames per second. You can't go any higher on frame rate, you can't go any lower on frame rate, which is 23.9, which is you know around 24 frames per second. Um, but it's 4K. Um, this is the only camera outside of my GoPro that is 4K in my camera selection. Now, the camera I'm shooting on right now may be retiring. And I may be um, putting it up for sale and strictly shooting with this one and my other two cameras that I have um, will not be going away. But this one may be. We'll see. Uh, now, when you go down to 1080p which is full HD you can shoot at 29.97 frames per second or 59.94 frames per second otherwise 30 frames per second or 59 or 60 frames per second you can also do full time lapse on this camera at 1080p at 29.9 frames per second now the other coolness factor is the flip out touch screen and we all know if you're trying to do a vlog or anything of that nature you want the screen where you can see it make sure you're in focus make sure what you're talking about's in focus 
So with this camera, and I'll show you real quick, when it comes on, I'm going to take the cover off, and there we are. We're looking back at each other. And the autofocus, all I got to do is tap, I don't even have to tap it. It's already found my face and my eyes. If you can see that, let me get it back, well, too close. You can see my face and eyes are highlighted, so it's keeping up with my movement. Now everything in the background, if I can keep up, let me, I'm trying to do this where you can see this, but everything in the background should be blurry, but my face is on point on this thing. Um, the other cool factor is we 99% of the time you're not going to be able to use onboard microphones. The only one I can tell you that I can use onboard microphone and it works, works well, is on the Canon SX730 that I have. It works really good. And that's what I do a lot of my vlog shooting with is that camera. It's a good built-in microphone, but these are not the best in the world. So, the one good thing about this camera my 1200 did not have, and that was one of the things I had to have this time, was a built-in mic input. And this one has, of course, the hot shoe mount. You flip open this door, and there is your mic input. So there's your package all together with the Boya uh, BYMM1 microphone on top. So it's still a fairly small package. Now this is the what they consider the entry level DSLR for Canon is the SL3. This is the latest version. This version did come out in 2019, but this is a actually a 2020 version of this camera. The uh, camera itself is not more than six months old. Uh, she wanted the, I forgot what she got. She got a new Mark something. I can't remember what she told me. But um, I'm not going to go into great detail on this camera on how it, you know everything works, the switches and all that. I'm, it's beyond me. I know enough to keep it, get it working, get good photos out of it, get good videos out of it, and do that kind of thing. And that's it. Um, I keep the flash off because I don't use flash. I've never used flash on any of my cameras. Um, does have HDMI and, of course, a computer plug up. You can plug the Canon remote in it. Or we get into the best part of this camera, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So when I recorded the opening for this video, I recorded it by hitting start on my iPhone on the Canon Connect app, uh, which is right here. And all I have to do is hit remote live view and it'll start syncing up if the camera was on. I'll see, I'll turn it on, see. It'll start finding it. And then I can start and stop video. I can take pictures with it, sitting on the tripod or whatever. But anyway, um, so with the built-in Bluetooth, I can control the camera. So if we want to do a group photo and I want to get back in the crowd, I can have the camera sitting up on the tripod and take a picture with this with my phone I don't have to be with the camera to take the picture now um, the other cool okay here's the camera right now that's the live view here is a little bit of a lag to it I will give it that now I can change the modes on what it's doing I think or I may have to do it over here yeah okay I have to do it myself but I think you can go into video mode but I, all I gotta do is take a picture is hit that button and it's shooting a picture. Now, like I said, I've got that 24 millimeter lens on it right now. So in the picture itself, everything in the background's blurry. You can barely see the tripod, which is only about a foot from me, but my nice little almost skinny belly, you can see quite well. Um, so I think that's gonna be a really cool thing. Now here's the other cool part of this is with the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi on the built-in Wi-Fi, I can go, go into the camera, to the camera live, and I can be on the road. If I wanted to upload this picture to YouTube, or not to, well, yeah, to YouTube, to Twitter, to anywhere, I can from my phone. So 
that was the other reason why I wanted to go this route with this getting this camera. Um, I love learning with the 1200D, and I feel like I learned a lot. I've got a lot more I want to learn, and I'm going to learn. And I think with this being an entry level, this will help me a little more understand, you know, all, you know, understanding the focus and all that great stuff that's built into them. Um, so anyway, this is what's going to be making majority of the content outside of the vlog camera and the GoPro from here on out. Um, I'm probably going to be replacing the camera I'm shooting on now with it to do a lot more of the in-studio stuff and doing the other stuff, you know, long ways. I've got two more Canon batteries coming for it. I have a, protect, a screen protector to go on the back of the screen because the screen is a touch, ooh, a touch screen. So I want to protect it as much as possible. Uh, this camera too is touch screen as well. But I like that aspect of the camera is having the touch screen and all the other functions it's got. So anyways guys, so that's my new baby. My Canon EOS Rebel SL3. 4K, 1080. Uh, for the most part I'm probably going to be shooting a lot of 1080. I'll probably do some like time lapses in the, the 4K. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll do some, if I do some time lapse stuff with 4K. Probably make it a separate video on its own so it loads up in 4K and everything, and it looks really good. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I sure thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and be prepared.